back to this Andrew Tate clip for GTA 6. Because this one got kind of viral. Um, I was going to include it on my video. I was going to include it on my video. Oh, crap. Why did it go on search? I was going to include it on my video that I talked about earlier this morning. Um, but I, I was like, that video was already too crammed up. I wanted to talk specifically about people complaining about GTA 6. Um, oh, crap. I, was I playing the video? Did you, did you guys hear that? Anyways, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. But Drama Alert posted this. I guess let's just react. New GTA 6 is out. Have you ever played any GTA? This has done you a question. I've never played any of them. I believe that I played the first one. That's like a top-down, bird's-eye view, kind of 2D game without any real graphic violence back when I was maybe 10 or 11 or 12, when, whenever it came out. I, re I do recall that. But you know what? I want to speak about GTA 6 while, while you're on the topic, because now we're actually talking about something that's relatively important. Video games aren't necessarily evil. But, you know, I remember when video games, because I'm very old, I'm an old man, I remember when you used to play a little man in a red hat trying to rescue a princess and teaming up with your brother. Now, if rescuing purity from evil while teaming up for your brother isn't a good theme of a video game that i don't really know what is i'm not a fan of anyone under the age of 18 21 maybe playing video games where the goal is to shoot police officers i just don't think that's good for society with all the amazing graphics and engines and whatever people put into these video games i feel like you could create a better objective with the game, you know? Maybe you are the police officer. Maybe you are trying to stop... <coughs> Sorry, Karen. Criminals. And... <laughs> Sorry? Okay. No, no, Sorry, just carry on. I just had a cough. I'm not talking to you. No, just carry on. No. I will say, though, it feels like sometimes the Tate brothers just try to get in the news for, like, out of nowhere like it's just like oh let's just let's say something different to kind of stand out and I, well first of all it's not even andrew so i can't even say andrew said this he he just said he didn't play the games there's more tristan that talked first of all the games say mature 17 plus this is what i said in my video earlier this morning the games say mature 17 plus it's telling you that hey as a parent if you don't want your kid to play this game, here's a label. You choose whether or not he plays the game or not. So I think that is already stupid. I see a lot of people already saying, oh, dude, GTA 6 is promoting big booties and sex and drugs and killing to kids. No, they're not because it's not even a game designed for kids. Now, sure, kids are going to play it. But again, the complaint is on the parents. The complaint is on the people who are responsible for letting them play, not Rockstar itself. So this is already a retarded argument to begin with. All right, that's that's like a that's a this is stupid. It's like going to a jigsaw movie, taking your kids to it, and then complaining to the theater owners and saying, "Why'd you let my kid watch this movie? What do you mean? Why'd you let him? You brought him in there. The movie says it's R-rated. You know dang well what R-rated means compared to PG thirteen and PG. Why are you surprised that your kid now all of a sudden has nightmares? Like why is that so surprising to you, bro?" Like, it says it when the movie starts, R-rated. Even before you do, actually. In the movie ticket booth, it says R-rated. Same thing with video games. It says mature 17+. plus. They even give you the advantage of saying 17+. plus. It's not like in movies where it just says R and you just assume it's for adults. But it literally says 17+, plus on top of the M. So that's already a stupid brain-dead argument to be making. Just in general, stupid brain dead argument. But another thing I guess I'll say is Grand Theft Auto has existed for a long time. This isn't like a new game, you know, very first GTA game. No, it's a game that has a legacy that's existed for a long time. Right. And I think another thing is I think this is the most interesting part that he brings up is the shooting cop aspect. I can get that as a dangerous message to put push. But at the same time. Wouldn't you just be able to technically say all games are dangerous? Any game that has any form of realism is dangerous? Because if you look at a lot of the popular games, what do you do? You kill people. And you can make the argument that you can't play those games because they show murder. They show violence. 
you know, Last of Us shows the main protagonist getting killed by a golf club, at least in Last of Us Part Two. So I, I think it's a I think it's a silly argument. I think it's a silly argument. I feel I genuinely think I genuinely think that the only reason why they even said it this way is because they realized, hey, we can get a clip out of it on Twitter because that's how people are, especially with the tape rows. It's always like, oh, Andrew Tate and Tristan did something again. Let's complain about them, you know, because that's the NPC mindset that we live in in 2023. But at the same time, you're saying retarded things. I react to it. And I'm going to call you retarded because that is a retarded statement. So I guess that's it for that. that topic i guess let's catch up to the chat a bit